All right, in this video, we are going to briefly go over how to download Jamovi. Um, or it might be pronounced Yamovi. I've heard both in videos, so I'm not sure which is actually correct, but I'll, I'll say Jamovi um, for our purposes. So this is what it looks like when you are done, when you're there and have downloaded it. So let's go back to how to download it in the first place. Um, so in Canvas, this will look a bit different as a student. Uh, but if you go to this page in the course, I'll have a link available to you. This might look a little different too once I'm done. Uh, but you click this link, uh, or alternatively, you could just go to jamovi.org, or you could even just Google Jamovi and click that link. Right? And once we get to the Jamovi website, if you're not at the download page, um, the home page will show a, a few different options. One is to use the cloud directly in your browser. Um, I wouldn't recommend that simply because it's in beta stage, meaning that they're still developing it. And for the purposes of this class, it'll be easier in general if you just download it and install it um, so that you can use it throughout the semester. So if you click the download page and then there you have it. Um, you click this link, um, click save. Uh, for me, it wants me to replace it because I've already done it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually go through the process and have you just stare at my screen while I wait for you to download. But once you do download it, um, you can open that download, and then you might get some warnings and stuff like that. Um, this is a safe file; it's totally okay to to run, assuming that you got it from this website. And so you'll click yes, and then for me, it's telling me it's already installed. Uh, but just click through those options. If you have questions on anything, let me know. Um, but then once you have it installed, it should run, or you can um, simply search for it and run it that way, or find it in your programs, one way or another, get to it. And here we have it. So it should look like this. Maybe it'll look a little bit different. I don't think I've customized anything really. Um, but then I'll ask you to open a, a data set or, or a spreadsheet for your assignment this week. And so to do that, we'll click on these three bars to the left. And we could do new if we wanted to make something new. We're just gonna go with open. Um, and I'm going to, what I'm gonna ask you to open is this, module3.xlsx. We click that, and there we have it. All right, so we can see we have participant, age, year in college, first gen, uh, we've got our variables page, our data page, our analyses, and edit. And we'll go in further depth on all these different um, tools and capabilities in later modules and videos in this course. Uh, but really for this module, that's as far as we need to go. Um, so like I said, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.